Hey folks, Odd here with your Outer World News. Current time is 5.04 p.m. April 17th, 2013. Alright, here we go folks with breaking news. U.S. to deploy 200 troops to Jordan to curb Syrian violence, Hegel says. Here we go, some crazy stuff. The U.S. will deploy 200 troops to Jordan in the coming weeks in a bid to support that country's defenses, Washington says. As the Syrian crisis escalates and President Obama draws a red line for Syrian President Assad. The Wednesday statement came from U.S. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel in Congress. He's, he has said the deployment will assist the efforts to contain violence on the Syrian border, as well as set the groundwork for combating any perceived threats of chemical weapons used in Syria. So there you go, folks. Breaking news right there. You know, it's more World War III talk. Also, here we go. This is on RT. Or, sorry, The Guardian. North Korea open to talks, but not with U.S. brandishing a nuclear stick. More World War III talk. North Korea is open to talks, but not while the U.S. is brandishing a nuclear stick. It said, states, a state news agency has said. The statement came on Wednesday as President Barack Obama said more provocative behavior by Pyongyang was likely, but would not be rewarded. The North has made a series of threats against South Korea in the U.S and cut off cooperation that the joint industrial park it operates with Seoul, reflecting its anger at tightened sanctions due to its third nuclear test in joint U.S.-South Korean military drills. Definitely take a look at this, folks. You know, just more and more and more crazy stuff going on. All right, here we go. Also, World War III, North Korea, U.S. tensions. U.S. are provoking Asia and China. You guys want to go ahead and take a look at this? This was released today. You know, this is talking about, you know, what the U.S. has been doing to destabilize the, um, the uh, East. You know, China and Asia and all that stuff. You know, very interesting stuff there, if you guys want to go ahead and take a look at it. Um, this is actually a release from Press TV Global, so if you guys want to look, at it, look into that. Also, uh, this is breaking news, too. Senate rejects expanded gun background checks. There you go, man. It's one win for us. One win for us. In a majority, defa uh, in a majority defeat for supporters... Of tougher gun laws, the U.S. Senate on Wednesday defeated a compromise proposal to expand background checks on firearm sales. <laughs> Round of applause. That's right, Senate. Senate's working with us. See how this goes, you know. Good, good, good stuff right there. Also, this was breaking earlier. Oklahoma City on lockdown from stolen rental truck. You know, Paul Bagley, you know, he's talking about the coming apocalypse and all that stuff. Very, very good video if you guys want to check into it. You know, it's talking about that. And this is, I uh, got some more information on that stolen truck. Police search a U-Haul truck outside Oklahoma City. Buildings, or building turns up empty, report says. So if you guys want to check this out, this is on uh, April 17th, so it's today it was released. So definitely go ahead and check this out, you know. It says, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma City police ordered the evacuation of City Hall in nearby buildings Wednesday morning after a U-Haul truck was discovered outside the building. According to CBS affiliate... The Oklahoma City Police Bomb Squad later searched the truck and found it was empty. <laughs> you know, just scared the crap out of them, though, you know, because it was April 19th, 1995, when the Oklahoma City bombing happened. So, I don't know, are they just trying to provoke them? Scare them? I guess we'll see, right? Also, on to more news on CNN. This is Confession Over Arrest Reports in Boston Bombing. You know, it says here there is a conflicting there is conflicting information as to whether someone has been arrested in the connection with the Boston Marathon bombings. A federal law enforcement source told CNN's Fran Townsend that someone was arrested, but later two senior administrator officials and another federal official told Townsend that there had been no misunderstanding among officials and that no one has been arrested. So, yep, no one has been arrested. Well, here's more news on it. Boston Marathon bombings investigated. Investigators zero in it on a possible suspect. Now, there's some stuff there if you guys want to check this video out. It goes, Boston investigators were zeroing in Wednesday on video footage from the department store security camera, possibly showing a man wearing a large black backpack and then dropping it in the first sign of a possible breakthrough in the investigation of the Boston Marathon bombings. So supposedly this guy dropped the backpack. I guess we'll see, right? Alright, here we go. Washington Post also is talking about this. The crime scene area has shrank. So if you guys want to check that out. Before, you know, it was like over like 12 blocks or something. But Boston Federal Court 
courthouse evacuated. It's from 3.14 p.m. today. The Washington Post, David A. files this report from Boston. Boston Federal Courthouse, where hundreds of reporters and onlookers had gathered outside in response to false reports of an arrest in the marathon bombings, is being evacuated. Security officers gave no details, telling reporters to break up and move back away from the waterfront courthouse. Two K-9 teams from Federal Perspective Services had approached with lights and sirens going. It's crazy, crazy, crazy stuff there. All right, so here we go, folks. Also, on to this. Fox Pools Family Guy episode referring to deaths at Boston Marathon. No plans to re-air. Hmm. Here we go, folks. Crazy, huh? New York Fox has pulled from websites a recent episode of Family Guy that depicts mass deaths at the Boston Marathon. It has no immediate plans to air it again. Fox spokeswoman uh, Guy Piez said Tuesday the episode has been removed from Fox.com and from Halo.com or Hulu.com. So there you go, folks. <laughs> you know, just just crazy, crazy stuff there, you know. Just, man. You guys want to go ahead and look in that, you know, just... Also, I wanted to show you guys this. This is from CNN.com, belittling all of us people out there with our own beliefs and anything else like that. You know, this is CNN Tech. All right, this right here is talking about five viral stories about Boston attacks that aren't true. Here you go. Let's go down here to the bottom where they demonize us. Here we go. We almost hate to even address this stuff. We'll start with a bottom line. Anyone saying they know what happened at this point is making it up. And they're talking about conspiracy theories. But that didn't stop far-fetched imaginings, often based in political I ideology, from flying almost immediately after the attack. One syndicate talk show host who won't be named whose content won't be linked here, they're talking about Alex Jones, tweeted that the attacks stank to high heaven or a so-called false flag or staged attack false flag is an old naval term that's come to be used for a military action that's not what it appears to be. At least one web user was ready for this, he registered a website, bostonmarathonconspiracy.com, on Monday. Clicking the link reveals a white page with black text reading. I bought this domain to keep some conspiracy theory kook from owning it. Please keep the victims of this event and their families in your thoughts. Thank you. Man, people are just so blind. They really think the government loves them, don't they? But look at that, demonizing... <laughs> they're demonizing Alex Jones right there. You know, just... Man, it's just retardedness, you know? Just retardedness. This is America. Everybody has the right to their own opinion. Also, here we go. Boston Marathon Emergency False Flag Warning. This right here is a strike back from what um from Alex Jones, if you guys want to go ahead and check that out, you know? Very interesting stuff there. Alex Jones is pretty much saying, you know, what's going on, how they're demonizing us, and all kinds of different things. So definitely check into that as well. Also, here we go. White House confirms letter thought to contain... Ricin sent to Obama. Yeah, rat poison. So, you know, just crazy. So here you go, folks. Tensions were high in Washington on Wednesday after the White House confirmed that a letter suspected of containing the poison ricin was sent to Barack Obama and at least one member of Congress. The letter to Obama was an intercepted at an office away from the White House where all mail to the president is suspected, subjected to a rigorous screening process. So you guys want to go ahead and check into that, you know, all these like false flag letters popping up too, you know. Just craziness. Also, DEFCON warning system is still at level three. Thank the good lord. Also on the RT news, on to the virus news, the H seven N nine. Eighty two infected now and seventeen dead from the H seven N nine virus in China. Eighty two people have been infected and seventeen are, of them are dead from the H seven N nine virus in China. Meanwhile five people who had already contracted the new avian influenza, were discharged. Another 60 patients are receiving medical treatment. Shanghai is the city with the highest rate of infection. Of the 31 people hit by the virus, 11 have died. Beijing has recorded only one infected person, but two more cases have been found in the Chinese province of Henan, or Henan. There haven't been any documented cases of this virus transmitting from person to person. Yeah, I guess we'll see on that one, right? I don't, I don't believe half that nonsense. Also, uh, if you guys want to look into this, um, Star Wars actor has died, Richard Lee Prometheer, or I guess is how you pronounce his name. Yeah, he's, he, I guess he died today. So if you guys want to go ahead and take a look at that, you know, 
Crazy, crazy stuff. Alright, now here we go, folks. On to Fukushima news. This is from BP Earthwatch. Fukushima earthquakes, markets dropping. Very interesting stuff, you know. There's a lot of volcanic activity, it seems like, going on ever since the, um, the, uh, around the Australian, between Australia and Madagascar, that ridge collapsed. There's been a huge uptick in earthquakes around the earth, you know, and it's just all this volcanic act activity popping off. So if you guys want to go ahead and check into this, you know, very interesting stuff there. Also, um, Dutch Sense is talking about all these earthquakes and what he believes in, you know, how, um, the lava flows and all that stuff. You know, if you guys want to go ahead and check into it, very interesting stuff. Like always, Dutch Sense always does a great job. That's his new video from yesterday. Also, on to Nibiru news. Nibiru's presence announced on the Taliano News, April 2013. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, you know, interesting stuff there as well. Also, Russia does not hide Nibiru from the CIVs. You know, we think Radish Reg Dot. Watch it around three, three minutes up to about four. You'll hear them talk about Nibiru supposed to be coming in February of 2014. That's Ison. This video was released a long time ago, a few years ago, probably like 2008 or something. Definitely check into that. That's why I was saying Ison is the Nibiru. All right, here we also go. Um, more on the rogue planets. Search for rogue planet continues in 2013 and beyond. This is from Wow for Real. Very very interesting stuff. This is the article that he based it upon, right here on Forbes.com. Sun may still have low mass solar companions, says Antro or astrophysicist searching NASA wise mission data. You guys want to go ahead and check into this, you know. Now they're starting to say that we might have a binary sun. Our sun may indeed have a far flung gravitational bound companion. If you guys want to go ahead and check this out for de decades, astronomers and paleontologists have debated whether our sun has a stellar mass M dwarf companion dubbed Nemesis. So there you go, folks. You know, guess we'll see on that one, right? All right, here we go. I gotta speed this up a little bit. How Saturn Dream were formed and why they are being destroyed. This was just we're here released today again from Dark Sky Watcher. If you guys were interested in what he said yesterday about the um, all the uh, ice rings and the rocks and stuff falling into Saturn, definitely go ahead and check into that. Very interesting stuff there, like always. So so far we've only had eight reports of fireballs. There was twelve reports on the fifteenth in Kentucky, Ohio, Tennessee, Virginia, and West Virginia. All right, so here we go, folks. Right now it's California, Florida, Florida, Vermont, Alabama, California, Washington, D.C., and uh, Virginia again. So not very many reports today, so I guess we'll see what, where that's going. Also, Lunar Meteor Hunter's blog spot, you know, still showing in the same spots. It's up there around Europe, um, one in Africa. Now there's also another one back down in Australia again, also around the whole entire east coast of the U.S. Helio Viewer. Um, sunspots, they are magnetically charged, you know, the magnetic polarity in them is starting to increase, but, you know, I don't know, I guess we'll see, coronal hole stream still in, so still we're under earthquake watch, planetary alignment, major earthquake watch, you know, still, because tomorrow the planetary alignment's coming in, so just be safe and be prepared on that note. Um, still the same solar flare pop off, so if you guys want to go ahead and check that out, no solar, no current solar flares as of, as of this time. Also, the uh, cosmic ray density drop, but it's back up again. Still not up around 100, so I guess we'll see where that goes. Before it was hovering at 101, it's down at 99 now. So if you guys want to check the pitch angle out too, like always, also down here, the Macaruto charts are starting to rise back up as well. Just a huge dip out of nowhere. Also, Japan has been having huge earthquake swarms today, so if you guys want to check this out, you know, very, very crazy stuff they're having in Japan. They had a six-pointer. Six and Hanshu earlier today, about nine hours ago. So if you guys want to go ahead and check into that. Also, for comedy for today, Eddie Griffin, Voodoo Child, comedy stand-up, full movie. If you guys want to go ahead and look at that, that's for comedy. Also, right here, if you guys are NASCAR fans, uh, NASCAR Texas race highlights. If you guys want to go ahead and check into that. Also, on to earthquake news, and sorry, i got to speed it up here. As you see, four points, five point swarms all around Japan. Also, you know, over here around Alaska. So there you go, folks. Like always, I'm going to keep up to this and watch this huge swarm that's happening in Japan. Hopefully no nine-pointers or anything pop off. You know, like always, folks, sports info and weather will be at the bottom. You know, much love to you all. Please stay safe. You know, just keep your eyes and ears peeled for anything that could be possibly coming our way. Like always, much love, and may God bless you all.